What's going on YouTube? Uncle Pickle Pokemon, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to discuss some things uh, regarding the recent One Piece reprints that was announced about a week ago. I'm over here on Reddit and I'm just trying to get uh, the vibe of what the general public thinks and kind of just uh, reading some threads here and kind of uh, responding, I guess, in a way. So recently we know that Bandai has announced they are reprinting sets. They are not very specific. They're very vague. They said that they will be reprinting older sets. So we don't know if it's going to be the last couple sets, um, you know, or they're going back to OPL one. We don't know uh, the specific details. And I think there's a reason why they keep it vague. They're responsible for uh, Printing other TCGs such as Digimon and Dragon Ball Super, and they're also printing uh, OPL6 as well. So there's a ton of things that Bandai needs to uh, print. And on top of that, they're also printing uh, Japanese sets as well. I think there's a reason why they want to keep it vague because they don't want to break uh, promises. And so this is kind of a way for them to say hey you know there's reprints but for me personally i don't think they will be able to print to demand or even close to printing to demand i'm on the side of the reprints being smaller rather than uh larger but you just don't know what's gonna happen they could just go back and print the last two sets and so much of it that it crashes the last two sets versus you know romance and opo2 gets no reprint and stays elevated like we don't know for sure the utility man says we don't know how big or small of a reprint this will be so there's no way to know how much or how little it will affect the market we don't know exactly what is getting reprinted exactly that's that's exactly what i just stated we just don't know right everything is up in the air right now yeah the thing is banda has uh previously stated that uh, they plan to keep their cards collectible meaning they they want high value cards within their tcg for a successful uh, collectible card game you need the collectability of things and you also need the player base the game pieces yes we understand that like the game pieces they need to be cheap for the game that's awesome but it can't just thrive on game pieces. We also need a collectability aspect of a TCG to be a, a healthy overall market. Like, for example, can you imagine if uh, how much of these uh, packs selling for like four bucks or 50, something like that per, per booster at MRSRP? Can you imagine if like you were to rip a four dollar pack and, you know, if they were all just game pieces, you get like 12 cents out of the pack every time guaranteed 12, 12 12 cents bandai would have to either reduce the msrp because it's just way too too high at four dollars when the game paces are a, a penny you know per card that would defer a lot of people from opening packs right like why would you open packs ever if that was the case uh you need the chase in sets to kind of draw you know the collectability aspect of people and players uh, also need that too to uh to open packs and on the other hand you can't just have all cards be elevated right uh for the game no one will play the game if you know constructing a deck costs a thousand dollars that's kind of ridiculous right because you don't want to be priced out of that so you kind of need we need everyone in this uh both both sides of the party in this for a healthy market prices won't go down unless they reprint a lot if the reprints are small trickles shops will likely still charge current market and things won't change yes yeah, so i agree um they need to print a lot to uh to to make any drastic changes to the secondary market um like i said before though i don't think that is the case um i don't i just don't think they have the capacity to to do so 
people are taking that announcement way too seriously but i isn't going to magic create a million more printers i'm taking that what they said with a grain of salt they didn't give any details on how they're going to achieve this or how much they expect to reprint says buns buns supreme again they, they they've kept this announcement very vague as to not to disappoint people it's going to be very interesting to see how bandai maneuvers this reprint um very scared because if they mess this up it could be like a meta zoo situation right uh, meta zoo came in really hot and they were going good for a little while there was a lull and then like uh they were so hyped for um hello kitty i don't know the exact details but the the release of hello kitty just killed the market killed uh any um any confidence in the market and so much internal things going on with metazoo but i just hope that bandai can maneuver this a lot better uh they can't bandai can decide to do a unlimited print of things um and you know continuously reprint all their sets i feel like that is a good strategy uh, doing so you keep the collector side of things right first edition prints uh will stay um elevated because you know it's the first edition set collectors will want it still chase for it and with the unlimited prints well you have your game pieces right that's just that's just a another uh solution uh don't know uh Yu-Gi-Oh has also done it where their unlimited prints they can get like a certain starlight rare or something that i've heard i've heard that one bandai can do the same thing here they can reprint all their sets but exclude the man the uh, uh they can exclude the manga rare i don't know i'm just thinking out, out loud here guys like i don't know what they should do to uh correctly maneuver this but these are just some ideas that bandai can certainly do laugh learn punk here says i really hope bandai comes through because the sub this sub is going nuclear if it doesn't it feels like a fever dream with how folks are just complaining about Bandai and are now confident the same company is going to finally do right by them. I'm skeptical until we get the details. Yeah, so this person is very skeptical that Bandai will live up to the reprint. Yeah, it seems like the the market sentiment, or at least per Reddit, people are skeptical that these reprints are going to do anything. Scalpers are still going to win. Um, it's This story is very salty the more that I read it. I think I have enough of these threads here. It, it's, it, it's getting way too toxic, but um, yeah, how would I approach uh, these reprints? Um, right now, I would definitely keep sealed product if you if you got it at MSRP. I know that's hard, but then if you got it at MSRP, that's great. Uh, even if they reprint it, um, it's not it's got it's not gonna come back down to MSRP so at that cost basis you're you're pretty good to just keep it um as far as singles if if the reprints come um singles will go down um i would certainly get rid of like certainly not like your manga rares or like really high rarity like leaders but like your uh i don't know your regular parallel uh alt arts i would definitely get rid of those it's better to get rid of those at the the high of the market and then the reprints comes and then uh, it knocks it down uh, back down um, would you rather be on the side of hey like i could have sold now it's down 30 uh, percent or would you rather hey i sold at the high the reprints didn't uh didn't hit the 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 single markets as much and it keeps going up maybe five ten percent well i'd rather be on the side of hey i took my you know i took my gains now and it goes up another five ten percent versus oh i'm down another you know five ten percent and when i could have sold 
generally speaking, this reprint is good for the TCG. We need we need more product out there, but you know, just keep an open mind and just uh, I would hold off on purchasing anything at all right now, and just be patient. Just be patient and see what the market does. However, the market reacts. I don't know. The thing is, you just can't make everyone happy. Um, but I do know that you need a collectability uh, side of these sets along with affordable game pieces. So if Bandai can do that, uh, I see this TCG going, uh, you know, having a good future and they need to correctly uh, maneuver the situation. But there's nothing we can do. Um, except for just wait and see so yeah basically that's that's my strategy just selling singles that are at all-time high and you know if you got a sealed product um, that you want to keep for your collection or um, you know you got higher end singles definitely keep those uh, but for the most part just staying quiet on the sideline right now and looking at what happens um, as these reprints come to market so that's uh, those are just my thoughts um, any comments please leave them down below let me know what you guys think and we'll see you guys in the next video peace